Hi and welcome to this week's episode of the Wine Buff Videos. I'm a big fan of gadgets. No, I don't mean those naughty gadgets. I'm talking about uh, gadgets in general. Um, as you can see, I have things like this here and uh, anything with bells and whistles on it, I generally like it. So uh, this week I thought it would be a good idea to have a look at uh, wine gadgets. Um, these things I'm not so much into because I'm a bit of a traditionalist when it comes to wine, but um, because people have talked to me about it, and particularly two problems, one, wine not being warm enough whenever you need it, and two, um, wine needing to be breathed uh, for a while or to open a bottle to let it breathe uh, and do it more quickly, I thought I would try out this gadget which was recommended to me. So it's the Cellardine Red Wine Warmer and Electronic Wine Breather gift set. So uh, that's it there if you're interested. So what I thought I'd do today is actually put it to the test. Um, are gadgets any good when it comes to uh, to wine or should we leave them for, for basically boys toys? So um, what, what we've got on here, we have, this is the thing to warm the wine, so it's kind of like uh, those uh, pocket heaters for golfers uh, and it's basically a liquid, so uh, that's the first thing. The second thing we're going to test is this here, which is very intriguing to me. It's a, a wine aerator, so uh, we're going to test that in a minute as well. But first things first, we're going to try uh, this little jacket thing. So according to the instructions, all I need to do is take the jacket, pop it onto a wine bottle like this, pull it down, like so, and then click this little sort of clicker on the side and apparently that heats up the wine. So you've got to do it for 5 minutes for a light bodied wine and 12 minutes for a, a full bodied wine. So this is fairly full bodied so I'm going to do it for... I'm going to do this for 10 minutes so uh, we're going to set it down. We're going to set the time. If I can figure out how to 10 minutes and we're going to start and after 10 minutes we're going to come back uh, and see if the wine's heated up so are up, how does it taste? We will take off this and give it a pour. Surprise, surprise, it's warmer. Um, it's actually a pretty good temperature, but there's one slight feeling with this thing here. There is an alternative, it's cheap and you already have it in your house. Two things, one a tea towel and two a radiator. All you need to do is get your tea towel, wrap it around your wine bottle, set it on top of the radiator and it'll do exactly the same thing as this will. Um, and again for about five, ten minutes and it'll bring it down. So this to me is a little bit over engineered. So if you want to look poncy, uh, maybe get one of these. But uh, to be honest, a tea towel and a radiator works the same. However, I would say that using either of the methods, it will actually affect the wine taste a little bit because you're going to be changing the molecules by heating them sort of more than they should be. So to be honest, you should be trying to get uh, trying to get the heat down naturally if you can, but if all else fails, do use one of these, or if you want to save yourself a bit of money, tea towel and radiator. So that's the findings of my first experiment. Second one I'm slightly more interested in, it's this here. It's uh, the problem of uh, when you open a red wine, basically it has a lot of tannin, which can be quite bitter and it also makes your gums tingle and your teeth feel a little bit dry, so it's not a pleasant thing. So a quick way to get rid of the tannins, supposedly, is one of these jobs here. It's an aerator which uh, forces air down here and into the bottle and it percolates through. Uh, to me it seems a bit like a soda stream and I'm a bit wary of it, but um, we're going to give it a go and see how we do. So put your tip in here, plug it there and then push the button. So. I 
as you can see, bubbles going into the end. If it works. Technical difficulties. Bubbles going through the wine, as we as we can see. I'll persevere with this. I'm meant to leave it for a minute. It's meant to go on automatically for a minute and pump air through to soften the tannins. But uh, whilst you're sitting there, I will persevere and uh, I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, so a minute's up. I have to say that's a bit of a complaint about it to start with because it doesn't stay on for a minute. So uh, there are a few technical issues here and it's a bit of a pain in the ass clicking it and clicking it and clicking it until the air comes out but um, if you've got the patience it does bubble through eventually um, it does remind me a little bit of a one of those soda streams so uh, I wouldn't recommend using one of those but it's the same kind of principle basically pumps air through softens up the tannins and accelerates the sort of breathing process so here we go the main test when we first tried this it was quite bitter quite puckering so this will be the real test Surprise, surprise, it has actually worked quite a lot. The um, dryness has come down, the tannins have softened up. But when you think about it, pushing loads of bubbles through and bombarding the wine is going to soften the tannins for sure, there's no doubt about that. But the problem in doing that is that you're really bombarding the wine and unsettling the wine. Um, it's kind of like just really shaking the wine madly about, which you can do again much cheaper. So if I was to put the top over the, the wine bottle and vigorously shake it for a minute, it would do exactly the same thing. So it's a little bit over engineered. And to be honest, I think it changes the taste a bit of the wine as well. So to be honest, I would give that a pass as well. So uh, unfortunately, the conclusions are, uh, well, fortunately for your pocket, I would save your money. Don't bother with any of these uh, wine gadgets and uh, go back to uh, to the roots of the, the thing and just either stick it in the radiator with a tea towel around it, although I still wouldn't advise doing it. Or secondly, sticking your finger over the top of the bottle and giving it a good shake because it does exactly the same thing as the aerator does. So if you haven't heard of these gadgets before, there's probably a good reason because they're not particularly useful.